Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have another Q&A session. And today's topic is about rock properties, which is porosity. And this is our case. An oil reservoir exists at its bubble point, bubble point pressure of 3000 PSIA and the temperature of 160 Fahrenheit. The oil has an API gravity of 42 degrees and the gas oil ratio of 600 SEF per STB. The specific gravity of the solution gas is 0 0.65, okay, the specific gravity, and the following additional data are also available. So we have reservoir area of 640 acres, and average thickness of 10 feet, Connaught water saturation of 0 0.25, and effective porosity is 15%. Now we need to calculate the initial oil in place in stock tank barrel. Okay, so it's quite easy and straightforward. I've prepared my workflow. So the step one, that we need to determine the specific gravity of the stock tank oil. And we know that the API gravity is, zero, is 42 degrees. So we can use this correlation to calculate the specific gravity. I will call it SG oil, like this, specific gravity of the oil. So it will be, okay, if we rearrange the equation, it will be 141.5, okay, 141.5 divided 42, okay, 42, the API gravity plus 131.5 so it's like this all right i forgot the equal sign okay so the result is this 0 0.815 okay i'm going to make it bold and then red color and then i want to okay so it's like this So the specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.815, okay? You'll make it bigger, okay. All right, and the next one is we need to calculate the initial oil formation volume factor, BO. And one of the correlation that we can use, a quite simple one, is standing correlation or standing equation. I prepared the correlation here. So BO, we can calculate BO, initial oil formation volume factor, or oil formation volume factor only, by using this equation. RS is the solution GOR, and we know the information about it. And then this one is specific gravity of the solution gas, and we know that. Specific gravity of the oil, we've just calculated that and the temperature in Rankine. So let's calculate it. I will make the data first here. So API 42 and then GOR or rather RS of 600 SEF per STB. Okay. And then specific gravity of gas, SG gas is 0.65 okay so it's like this i'm going to make table can make it bigger okay let me make a color of it change the color okay so let's calculate using this equation so bo equals to here equals 0 0.9759 plus 0 0.00012 multiplied by RS, solution GOR of 600, this one, SCF per STB, multiplied this term, so gas specific gravity, which is 0 0.65, divided by 
specific gravity of the oil, 0 0.815. Close the parenthesis, and then it is powered by 0 0.5, the square root. And then we will plus 1.25 multiplied by the temperature. OK, the temperature. What is the temperature? This one, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. OK. This one is in Fahrenheit. So all right, by the way, here, the temperature is in Rankine. So temperature in Rankine minus 460, it's actually Fahrenheit. So we don't need to minus something. We can use 6, 160 here directly. So be careful. What is the unit? What is the unit of your temperature? In my case, it is Fahrenheit, so I can use directly. So like this, I will close it and close again, and then I will power it by 1.2. Okay, so this is the result. It's 1.307 in reservoir barrel per stock tank barrel condition. Okay, I will make bigger. tabulated and then this one okay so far so good i will delete this rows and then we need to calculate the pour volume first before we can calculate or we can get the initial oil in place so pour volume pv is this. So I will make the data first. Reservoir area A. This is 640 acres. And then average thickness or net pay thickness H. It is 10 feet. And then porosity, I will call it pore. It's 0 0.15, 15%, okay, in fraction, and also Conat water saturation, SWC of 0 0.25 in fraction, and then also the temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I will make it quite Good looking format cells, superscript. Okay, so to calculate the pore volume, you can use this one, and the result will be in barrel, the unit. I will make two rows, and then I will copy this like this. The unit will be in barrel. Okay, and then let's calculate. So it's 7758 multiplied by the area of the reservoir. This one, 60 degrees, 60, 640 acres, sorry. And then average thickness of 10 feet. And then this one multiplied by effective porosity. You can use effective porosity to get, yeah, the porosity that is contributing to the oil production, but you can also use the absolute porosity, the total porosity, but some of the porosity will not, will not be contributive to the production. So I can recommend you just use effective porosity directly when you're talking about production, but to get a better or higher estimate, upside estimate or yeah or optimistic estimate you can use the absolute porosity but bear in mind that some of the porosity will not give you oil production and maybe you need to do stimulation like hydraulic fracturing to unlock all the potential to unlock all or the the porosity 
that is not connected yet. Okay, so calculate this one, 0 0.15. So this is the result. We will make comma style. Okay, so this is the four volume, four volume, the volume of the total pores, okay, in barrels. 7,447,680. And lastly, we need to calculate the initial oil in place. It's OOIP. It's quite easy. So it's, you know, the pore volume, this one, multiplied by one minus initial water saturation or conat water saturation. So it should be one minus 0 0.25. And then we will convert it to surface unit. So we should divide it with oil formation volume factor to get stock tank barrel as the unit rather than BBL or barrel. So it's like this. So it's 4,275,320 stock tank barrels of oil. So please differentiate or distinguish between reservoir barrel or BBL and stock tank barrel, barrel in stock tank condition. So yeah, this is the result. Let me check it again, 1 minus 0 0.25 and then divide it with initial oil formation volume factor. Okay, so that's all. We, we have just talked about reservoir rock porosity, mainly about the effect, the importance of porosity to determine the pore volume and initial oil in place that we have. Okay, so that's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.